company was started after, right after World War II by okay. Albert LaValle, and it was a family business till about 2000. And it had three retail stores and a mill. Okay. And then they sold to a company, and it stayed with Valley Lumber for a while. And then they, they expanded the company. They bought the three Pool Brothers stores up on the coast. They bought some stores in Massachusetts. And they changed the name to, and they opened a store in Wyndham. And they changed it to United Ventures. Okay. And then several years ago, when the economy turned bad and the retail business went, went bad, yeah. the company went through bankruptcy. So the only thing left in operation was the sawmill. The brochures came along and decided they wanted to invest in it. So they worked out a deal with the owners, purchased just a mill facility. And in, the, in November of 2012, we laid off everybody for one day, the break, then they took over the ownership and we rehired people and started up again. They put up the capital to do what we needed to do and get the place running again. So we've been running just over a year now and doing quite well. Uh, they've put in quite a bit of new equipment and they have quite a bit more scheduled. We've got some big projects coming up this winter. So we're optimistic and uh, it's very important to this area because it's all small landowners. Ten acres to hundred acres to hundred acres. There are no major landowners in Southern Maine. In fact, when the Valley family was in business, we were the second biggest landowner in New York County. We had 7,000 acres of land down here that we managed, but they kept that and subsequently sold it off in parcels. So we have no land base at all. Mm -hmm. and we're totally 100% dependent on local landowners. Um, they need this market for their logs. Mm -hmm. And if they don't have a good market, it's very difficult for them to justify managing their lands. We buy half of our logs from York County and half of our logs from Southern New Hampshire because the border's not far away. But we get most of our logs within a 50 mile radius. And we spend about $100,000 a week on logs. And that all goes right back into the local economy.